All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Crusader Kings Three with the RGA Dynasty Part Seventy Three. All right, let's hop right back into it. We are <laughs> indefinitely struggling uh, keeping Megara alive because she's getting very old. Uh, I just wanted to say, um, heads up, thank you to uh, Wizard, Abanov, Lisa, DNGN, Terrific Life, etc. for all the comments on the last episode. Uh, the comments have been falling off on the episodes, um, and so it was nice to hear from all of you again, so I just wanted to say I appreciate it. Let's get back to dominating Mariul. <laughs> Hang in there, Megara. I really want to get her to 100 if we can. I'd be so amped if we could get her to 100. That'll fix itself. Got a few ransoms we can take care of. Sure, why not? Mayor Ray. <clears throat> uh, my job through India marches on. I'm near blinded by all the gems the courts I visit have to show me. I find myself yearning for the filth of the open road. I was sent a courier with a particularly tasteless gift I was given. A tiger's head ornament on a ring. With jewels for eyes. Have you ever seen something so garish? <clears throat> yeah, it's not even good. Uh, Ghastly. Take it apart and sell the gems. <laughs> Thank you. I guess. Fantastic. Thanks, man. He could have sold that for 225 He sent it to me instead. That's crazy. Someone's after Isadoros. I think this is a new target, but once again, it's a bass. No, we've definitely seen people go after Isadoros before. My bad, my bad. No, no, no. For sure. These poor bastards in our court just are screwed constantly. They can't catch a break. I wonder what it's like to rule a domain, not only in this game, but in real life or whatever, where it's all mountains. This is all mountains. Other than this little tiny stretch of desert oasis area, it's just mountains. Wouldn't that get complicated to navigate and deal with? It'd be more defendable, I suppose. Huh. That is interesting. To me. Berlin Aureliu. Nice, we got the capital and that was enough with Peacemaker. To wrap this up. And we have a feast in 37 days. Humors rot in your living body. Always with the rotting in the human body. Let's usurp Mariel. Thank you. Gonna have to hand that one off. Um, also, um, which one of you was it? It was, uh, Terrific Life said something about the ethos. He asked if we had legalistic tradition, which we do, for the vassal limit. And, but the ethos he was talking about, let's look at our recent acquisitions real quick. It's probably nothing, but might as well check. Oh, 3%. Monthly Renown. I definitely have to hand this one off. I know I've been lazy about the Renown lately, but... A, a percentage and a point thirty two. I gotta hand those off for sure. <clears throat> Alright, let's hand those off, actually. Uh, Macron, you need some stuff. Okay, Purple Banner, Purple Banner, Purple Banner. Nope, not that one. I mean, I'll give it to him, though. Transoxiana... How about I give you the artifact I was originally going to give the other guy? Is that the bottom, maybe? No. Shoot, I don't, I don't remember what the really good blue one was called. There's just too many artifacts at this point. I can't keep track of all this. I can't, I can't keep track of all this. This is just too much. There it is. There's the percentage monthly renown hide. Give him that. And then Shahi belongs to... That's not ours, actually. Hold up. That's not us. Persia. Nice beard, bro. Looking good. No. Where's the big purple banner we just saw? I Like I said, I've been lazy on this lately, but it's because there's just so many court artifacts at this point that it's a... Huge pain to look through. But that purple banner was really good. So let's put in the effort to actually hand it off here. Watch me miss it somehow. 
because I'm blind. Oh my god, come on. It's not a goblet. No, but that's really good. Um, Ghana is pretty prestigious. Maybe they need a big purple banner. I don't understand. Where is this thing? Am I just missing it? Wait. Nope. <laughs> How am I doing this? I'm so sorry. This is so bad, I might even edit this part out because of how bad this is. This is why I haven't been handing them out. This is way too much. We just have too much at this point. And it would take hours to clean this out. Absolutely hours. I can't believe it. There we go. Jesus Christ. Get this off of me. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Back to this. No! No. Flame is not as young as he once was, and as he crawls into my lap, I can feel him trembling. I gently stroke his orange fur and listen to him purr long into the night, but as silence falls, I know that he won't wake again. I'll miss you, Flame. Oh, God dang it. Everybody in our life is dying, and it's... It's... Oh, Megara, I'm sorry. A faction to it? Really? Mario! This little count? Yeah, good luck. Anyway, I was handing this off. Uh, Macron is already big enough. Transoxiana could take a little... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we've already started handing them over to little areas like this. Yeah. Go ahead. Despotate to Mario. Back. 57 is now big enough. I should really stop handing him more stuff. Okay. I mean, when he dies, it'll pass on to multiple kids anyway, but... We, we can only have eight more vassals right now, so... I'm just trying to make the most of it. Okay, we can't declare war again until... This feast is over, so let's pay attention to the feast. We're obese again, swear to God. Look at this! I arrived back in my store after a long, lonely walk. I was born this day 95 <laughs> years ago. A graceful aging has given us a martial point, because why not? The older I get, the more I cherish the relationships I've cultivated over the years. So it saddens me that I've not heard from my husband, Starachios, or any of my friends today. I trudge along to my chambers, loneliness impeding my lazy feet, when I hear a clang and hush whispers from down the hallway. Happy birthday! What a surprise! <laughs> I cannot believe that Zenobia- Oh, Zenobia is really the one right here. Gave us that medium health boost, help holding us, our hand in bed yesterday. Giving us a birthday party today. Went to all the trouble of arranging this in secret. I had not a clue such a thoughtful surprise was being planned at all. Lisa made a good point in the comments last time, actually. We definitely have to name a daughter after Zenobia. She's been at, she's been absolutely out here looking out for Megara in her final years here. My friend Anastasia approached me struggling to carry three beautifully wrapped, wrapped packages. Ever the trickster, she says, three gifts for the choosing. One should be yours, but which shall be? Um, we never take the medium ones. Let's try that. Fine herbs and plants. It's a medium health boost. If only we could use another one of those. The guests are gathered in the Great Hall. Lords and ladies from the near and far reaches of the realm. I normally prefer the company of books to people. Yeah. Sure. You reveler. Over my new blouse. Uh, we could all tell Duchess Zoe had too much to drink, even though she insisted on showing us how sober she was. Simply rising for her so what is this lecherous grin with the link pointing at the cup? What was that? Proved too much for her, now I'm covered in her stinking vomit. Oh my god. Ugh. You gotta be ashamed of yourself. But this is what Megara would do, so I guess we'll do this. What a show you put on. Wow, we actually need this stress relief. We've been getting a lot of stress from losing pets and family and stuff. My lady, the wine, we cracked the next barrel. It's gone bad. It's all gone bad. Time to crack open my secret stores. <laughs> there we go. Come on, we need a bo health boost from this party. Ooh, look at her flex. Look at her. F Let's go, Mayor Svenislava. I did everything I could ensuring that Mayor Svenislava. Oh, God. And Duchess Margarita got into it. All right. 
Oh, I'm saving Venislava's life. She stood no chance here. Halt, we'll talk about it later. Yeah, they... <laughs> Svetislava was doomed. Her immaturity got to her there. As one plate of food is replaced by the next, my daughter Despotis Xenia goes on and on about tome collections. And that was how he salvaged that mess. You're sure I'm not boring you, my lady? Just a conversation. No, yeah. This this good. It's good. The final toast. Kind of an uneventful feast, to be honest. Okay. And with that, it's all done. Another great banquet in, in Byzantium, and that gets rid of all of our stress in one fell swoop. Unfortunately, no health boost from that feast. Whew, I'm sweating. I really want to make this five more years with her. That would be so good. All right, the Salmonid is probably next here. We'll take on Yanga Kent. And Holy War for Duchy Bars... Oh, no. This. This. What? Huh? What is all this? <laughs> Why can I not declare war for that? Hello? <laughs> what is happening? Okay. Sure. I guess. What the hell is happening? Holy War for Samanid. Oh, Sardaria, sorry. Interesting. So declare war on that. Beg Lukid. Beg we need your county, thank you. And Yanga Kent, apparently, uh... <laughs> apparently I can only declare war for these places, so... I guess that's what we're gonna take. Interesting. That's really weird, but, you know, it is what it is. Where's the capital of Samanid? Oh my god, it's all the way over there. Gross. Um, wow, that's so out of the way. Whatever, we're not doing the capital. We're just gonna start up here and work our way over. Yeah, that'll work. Alright. A little, a little under two months to gather. No longer obese, and that's good. Baroness Eupraxia. Alright, y'all, let's make this count. Let's make this count. Mayor Dorothea. Galag Muli is under siege. Okay. Why not? Is that really the fort all the way over there? Whatever. <laughs> Just go take their capital. How about we do that? Yeah, let's do that. And then once there, that war is done, we can start moving on to the other wars. In fact... I could work these way, these guys their way down. You know what? I kind of like that. Let's do that. It's going to take them four months, but that's all right. They both have trebuchets, so that's what matters. New learning lifestyle perk we don't really need, but sure. We need the small health boost from the lifestyle, so we can't go anywhere else. Learn we learned the Scythian language. Send it over. Gah! She is insane. Wait, there it is, there is going to be deaths if I move there. 14 casualties. Just go here first. I know it's just 14, but why suffer any? I know 19 out of 18 I can learn? Well, I guess I'm over my language limit. 19 languages, though. Yeah. Megara's got it together. Mayor Komitas. Mayor Bo Bokumila. Mayor Hectorios. 14 to 3300 there, because of course. Mayor Theodotos. Who's leading this? Nobody. That's really important that we fix that. I guess Eudoxios. Not the greatest leader in the world, to be honest, but it'll be enough. Oh, we got that big fight coming up. 
The Jeweled Danda. Okay. I return from India with an artifact from my journey. I take the bulky bundle into my hands and loosen the cords before peeling layer after layer of fabric. Inside it is an artifact unlike anything I've seen before. Mario smiles proudly. This is an adorned jeweled scepter from India, the ultimate sign of royal authority and the ability of a monarch to exact punishment on their subjects. Renown, building destruction down, tyranny down, learn language scheme up, courtly vassal. I mean, it's a good item. It's probably not something we'll use. Let me see our other items here. Ah, uh, I think it's better than that. Hold up. Oh, it's a regalia. Ooh. Yeah, no. No, 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 no. Okay. Alright, if it was if it was one of if it was a trinket, we probably would have rolled with that, but you know. Alright, here we go. Plus 63 advantage, because why not? Baron Philothit Philothios, Mayor Nicoletta, Mayor Sergia. Wow, that battle was over before the rest of the army came by. They're going to be surprised when they see there's nobody else here. The Slaughter at Merc, 9 to 26... 9 to 29, Man, I'm really looking forward to the Mongolian army, to be honest. I'm ready for that final military challenge. Either that or, like, a great uprising. Because that peasant uprising got us down to negative 40%. Maybe winning the battles wouldn't be hard, but winning the war might be difficult if the peasant revolt gets big enough. Undefeatable. 100 battles, 100 victories. With my latest victory against Gustav and his soldiers, I have finally reached this momentous milestone? What? She's won 100 battles? Now that my deeds have surpassed even those of legend, I can claim to truly be undefeatable, an indomitable force that can never be bested. Spread the word far and wide of my skill. I am but Zeus's axe, I merely carry out his will. Oh my god! Spread the word far and wide of my skill. Increase Marshall by three and gain nickname the Undefeated. High Priest Megara the Undefeated. That is so fire. I can't believe it. God, this game is always so good. It keeps hitting me with things I never expect. Wow. That is so cool. Oh, that's so much better than the Discussant, too. High Priest Megara, the Undefeated. 100-0 in battle. That's what we're talking about. 6-39-24. 100-0 in battle. That's so wild. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. 11-27-85. A scheme at court. Someone's going for Gabriel the Poet. Someone's trying to elope with Gabriel. Mm. <laughs> They're not going to have a good chance of that. He's a Doros, though. Despot Trifon got discovered, and then he gave up on it. He said, nope. If, if, if the scheme is known, I'm out. He said, not today. Mayor Gabriella. Thank you, thank you. We're up to 141,000. Our income is absolutely insane. The Roman Empire is really out here ruling the whole world. They're on their way for sure. It's 1127 AD. Hasn't even been 300 years yet. It's been 260. And we have, like, the vast majority of the world under our foot at this point. Under our rule. Berenice Doros. Thank you. A month to capture the uh, down there. Wait, what? This isn't their only county? Oh, they have one up there, too? Ah, whatever. No worries. We'll win that one anyway. It'll get done soon enough. Your vassal was taken prisoner by your other vassal after the Battle of Friuli. My vassals are fighting each other. It happens. That's not happening. Once Zoe passes away and hands off her land to a more reasonable descendant... I plan on taking the Duchy of Alexandria for ourselves. We're just waiting on that to happen. Another siege down. Go hit the capital and that'll be the war. <clears throat> Baroness Philippa. 
Baron of Angelos, Mayor Helios. We're up to 1765 counties, by the way. Alright, that war's done. Very good. Now we go for Yanga Kent, which is way out of the way, but you know, it is what it is. We're on our way. So be it. Alright, um, Transoxiana has too much land. We need to give it to someone new. Unless Uguzil is someone new? No, it's not. Yeah, we need to give this to somebody new. I hate, I hate to do that because we already have so many vassals, but I can't keep growing the power of one individual vassal. And she's a duchess. Why would she get land? Guys, come on. It has to be someone with no domain under themselves. Epiphania is the third daughter, third child of Abomi. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work nicely. Once I actually make the kingdom that I don't have. Sardaria, usurp. And then grant to Epiphania, the Argiad, of the main house no less. We love that. No branches here. Despotissa Epiphania. Beautiful. And despot. Uh, oh, her. Oh, never mind. Yeah, he was on landed too. He's a despot now because he's married to her. Duh. Oh, we've got six more vassals we can get before we are at our absolute limit. Scuttage, please. Scuttage and high taxes. Thank you. Gold. We do not require military might. We have enough of that. Mayor Zanku. Mayor Gregorus, Mayor Anthe, Mayor Melissa. Yeah, these guys are so out of the way. <laughs> They're kind of just there now. They're just going to hang out there while we finish the war over here, I guess. I'll send them. Screw it, we'll send them, but they're not getting there. It's going to take them seven months. Let's see if they get there before the war is over. We shall see. Mayor Sifax. Okay, still 95. Time seems to be moving really slow while I'm keeping track of her age. We lost a siege. We became obese again. Always with the obesity. The food is just too good. And we're just too old and infirm. I suppose. The combination of the two is just too much. Yeah, we've already got medium health boost on our court artifacts in here. It is what it is at that point. Controlling Torapets? Where? Damn it! No! No! She's not gonna make it to 100! Spouse, patron, and theologians. Oh, God. No. 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 Not Megara, please. Know thyself close to the end. I can feel it in my very bones. Hades will come for me soon. Like an old friend, he is patiently waiting to receive me. I'll be dead within a year. Oh, she's gonna make it to like 97 and then pass on. She was so close. Unless we get some kind of random health bonus to help her live longer, which is probably not gonna work. Oh, man. Take care of that. Ah, oh, Megara, no! <laughs> Megara, no! High Priest Megara, the undefeated! Damn it! I can't believe it! She's gonna die at 1128 AD is what it's looking like. Oh, You were doing so well, Megara. You made it so long. <sighs> Time gets everybody, doesn't it? Oh my god. That's so tough. We're not obese anymore. Wonderful. <sighs> May Allah destroy your house. He won't. Allah's on my side too. The whole... All the gods are on our side. What other pantheon would let something like this happen to the world? Otherwise. Says the zealous high priest Megra. <laughs> 
Mare Sergia. Okay, there's another legacy, meaning we're one away from the plus 10 Vassal limit, which will be absolutely huge. Earning respect. This is pretty useless. <laughs> but Assertive Rulers, next time, that's the big one. Whew, that's huge. That plus 10 Vassal... The other things aren't that bad either, but the 10 Vassal limit, that's what it's really all about. Your culture has divine rights! Would you look at that? Why not? Um... Okay. So now it's just... It's trying to do urbanization itself, so I guess we'll leave urbanization and let them do it for nine years. Land grants or advanced bow making. We don't need this at all. So I, I guess we'll go land grants. So in nine years we'll have urbanization. No, let's just rush urbanization. Forget it. And then we'll work on these two at the same time after that. I just really don't need these two, so we can take our time on those. Okay. Ah, oh, let's enjoy the rest of Megara's time here. We already had her last feast and everything. Go take more land. Where is this army coming? <laughs> yeah, they're more. They're trying. They're trying. We lost our Seneschal to old age as well. 61. Yeah, people are going a lot sooner than we are, that's for sure. Damn, I was really hoping we could get her to get to 100. Like I said, I've only ever had one ruler make it to 100 in all my hundreds of hours playing CK3. And I really wanted High Priest Megara the Undefeated to be one, but she she's going to get damn close. She's going to be just shy, but she's going to be damn close. Hit that capital up right here. And then a battle, too? Ooh. Yeah, this war is about to be over, for sure. As soon as this battle happens, let's get Megara her 101st win. 101 victories. 101 and 0. For a High Priest Megara the Undefeated. Make it happen. Rust to... No, let it go. And let it go. <laughs> and let it go. That was weird. But let her, let her do it. Bang. Done. Mara Sibylla. 12 to 52, 56. The slaughter at Buzai. So be it. Yeah, the other the other military never made it, just like I just like I expected. Okay, that's more Transoxiana territory, to be honest. They're up to sixty counties, I believe. Yeah, they're pretty big. Now what? Kimmick is still a convenient take, so we can start that. But <sighs> let's make sure our affairs are in order. Everything will be handed down to Prince Petros, who is insane, but otherwise impressive individual. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, that made me laugh. He's actually just a lunatic. Uh, his spouse is fairly impressive. Swings both ways. And our great-granddaughter, Despotus and Nana the Fair, is also very impressive. With a, a decent spouse. And our great, great grandson, Chrysogenos, is extremely impressive. That's what we're talking about. Maybe Chrysogenos is the one who runs it. And his wife, Dorothea, not so impressive. I like her whole look. I dig all that, but not very impressive. We'll have to see what we're doing about that. But our great, great grandson looking good. <clears throat> Our grandson, Prince Petros, is winning the votes. Let's take a look at those again. Sardinia, we're the only voter, so he wins that by default. For the Arabian Empire, he's winning 23, Eudoxios has 2. So he's winning commandingly. Yes, we don't have to worry about that. Oh, whoa, 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 wait a second. There's all kinds of empires that we could have made by now, huh? But it says that nothing is going to happen in succession. It says it's all going to stick together, so... 
I'm gonna place my faith in the fact that it's all gonna stick together here. Like it says it will. It better not be lying to me. <clears throat> We're still at a truce with Atsurao? Are you serious? For 11 more months? We're not gonna be alive in 11 months! Damn it! Daria Moos. Ooh. That's actually not terrible either. Alright, let's get working on Daria Moos. Conquer County. And Conquer County. Oh, now we're starting to invade into uh, near where the Mongolians are going to try to start. The Mongolians are going to start up here, obviously, but they are getting kind of close to Mongolian territory, let's be honest. Conquer County. We can't declare war on big chunks yet, so... We'll hold off on the bigger chunks for now and just knock these out real quick. <clears throat> oh, let's back it up a little bit, actually. It's probably too close. Yeah, 39 days to gather. Oof. And again, we're split in two ways, huh? That's fine. They can separate. It'll still work. Captain Jacob. Oh, it's good to see you laughing, Megara. It's not too late. What was that sound? Did you hear that? What the hell was that? Despotissa Rodant's friendship. I never expected I would grow as close to Despotissa Rodant as I have done in the past few years. I like seeing her smile. <laughs> I'm gonna miss her so much. We become true friends with Despotissa Rodant the second, the drunkard. Ugh! I can't believe it. <clears throat> Eleven twenty-eight. This is the year. This is the year it all ends. According to Know Thyself. And we haven't gotten any new health boost recently, so I'm not I wouldn't be surprised if it really does just end there. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, hopefully it doesn't crash again like last time we had a pass off. Your vassal created the cadet branch Lascaris, which is a branch of a branch. Seventeen members though, like that's got some following to it. It's not actually a target. Mayor Eliodora. Mayor Dionysios. Mayor Eusebia. Here we go. Oh, Megara is in this one. Okay, I was going to say 102 now. She's 101 and 0. She's got all those victories. Nice! That's a wrap! On to the next! Uh, can you accept the enforced demands by now? 6 to 11.59, good. The, this battle is happening for no reason, thank you. <clears throat> you just be short and miserable, thanks for your land. There, Chiara. More quick wars, and this is done. Oh, they have no... We have no trebuchets on that group. Oops. It's really inconvenient, actually. Mayor Andreas. Baroness Titbert. <laughs> Titbert. Baron Matthäus. Yeah, they need a trebuchet group. What the... Why are you like this? Twelve to twenty-two eighty-five. That siege would take way too long, right? Eighteen months. There's no way I'm waiting that long. Absolutely no shot. That's a war done. Force demands. Thank you, Mayor Leon. Six to twenty-one ninety-four makes her hundred and two and zero. Get in there, Megara. 103 and 0. 103 and 0. What? Whoa, hold up. 
<clears throat> oh, my nemesis. As if it was not enough that she embraces the worst vices of humanity, Despotissa Zadenka now, now insulted me to my face. She sent a letter asking for better relations and at the same time addressing me as the worthless high priest Megra. She shows, truly shows her true colors now. Let's kind of stand on making sure she pays for her insolence. But she won't. Oh my god, imagine. Imagine! <laughs> imagine! <laughs> Why is it going to let me keep learning languages? I'm at 19 of 18. That's another war done. Wow, we're just capturing leaders out here. Alright, turn around. Let's get started. 7 to 1904, that's 103-0. Out here doing all of it. Ransom. You can pardon your vassal, Countess Hamda, for what? For what? What did she do? Oh, she revolted against me. Yeah, alright. I'm not going to pardon that, but I'm also not going to arrest her on the spot for it. She refuses your challenge. Yeah, she ran. Damn it, I wanted the on her deathbed Megara to just absolutely show her what's good. That would have been so satisfying. Oh my god, August of 1128 is coming up. Please, no. No. Everything's still in order. Succession is still in order. Succession still looks good. Everything is supposed is going as it's supposed to, is what it looks like. <sighs> Prince Petros. Magnana of Alba. Man, oh man. My grandson. About to have to take up a lot of responsibility in a sec here. It's June. It's June. It's like a ticking clock. I hate it. I hate it. Baroness Jolanta, Mayor Zenobios, Baron Semten. Semten. Oh, and people will let us know what they think of the new ruler, too. We're probably going to have to spend some time keeping people under control. Expand everybody. This is Transoxiana, isn't it? Yeah, it is. How many are in this? Are in these kingdoms? Are these fat kingdoms? Or are they only a few? No, they're, they're pretty beefy. I can't be handing all that over. Which means this needs a new ruler. Damn. Alexeia. Inspired? They're unlanded? Serapion? Is not taking out over anything? He has pressed claims, but not implicit claims. Okay, Alexeia. I see you. And I grant you this. I can't make you the kingdom yet. Sorry. But, uh, I can grant you these counties. Let's make her a duke at least so that she can manage things a little bit. Not Margarita. Alexia, here you are. The Duchy of Turgay. And that brings us up to 99 vassals. With this much world left to conquer. We're definitely going to start suffering vassal penalties soon. Oh, Megara, please don't leave us. Please. No, no, no. Daria Moose. It's my prisoner. R ransom him? Holy War for Kingdom. Holy War for Duchy. Uh, county, actually. Just conquer the county. Daria Muz. Oh my god. We're already considered at war with them. That's I hate it when it does that. That's the worst. Take that county? That's a county? God, these counties are fat. We're already taking Saryarka. We did it for a duchy, didn't we? We 
We could have taken the whole kingdom. Shoot, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot! We'll be able to take this kingdom soon. Salakul, Harker County. Okay. Damn it. I totally declared war for their duchy, didn't I? I did. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I goofed. Alright. We don't want too much war right now anyway because we're going to have to get ready to stabilize our domain soon anyway. Go. Make sure they both get trebuchets this time before I separate them. She looks cool. Baron Eudoxios. Independence faction disbanded, okay. Oh god, that scared me because it's July. We're basically there. Don't put her out on the war field right now. Just let her just let her rest. Just let her rest. She's done. Uh, scudage. Whoa, 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 whoa. Scudage. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. There you go. I was like, what? There it is. August! No! It's, we're right there! How long till we get there? 15 days and they're gathering for 16. No, they're gathering for 13. Good. So they'll be ready. Excellent. We're obese? Of course we are. Might as well on the way out, right? We made it to 97! Damn it. They both have trebuchets. Good. Mayor Guillemet. Yeah, done messed up. Thanks for coming. 3 to 11.58. Ah! Megara, the undefeated. Oh, damn it. High Priest Megara of the Hellenic High Priesthood has crossed the River Styx at 97 years of age. She died of old age. A zealous woman, she fought for the glory of Zeus against the heathens in one of the greatest holy wars of recent history. High Priest Petros ascends to the throne. Possessing a mighty physique and an exceptionally astute mind, his rule is sure to spawn both song and tale. Died of old age, age 97, on the 3rd of August, 1030. Oh, she was born the 3rd of August, 1031. <laughs> oh, God. The cultural head of the Hellenics at the time, she was a living legend by a lot. What is this income right here? Whoa. The living, yeah, religious icon for sure. She finished five per trees, was on her way to six, fought in 153 wars. She fought in 153 wars in her lifetime. Non stop for the glory of Ares. Hosted 18 activities, four pilgrimages, three hunts, and 11 feasts, and attended five hunts and three feasts besides. Well, the succession worked. Whoa! We got primogeniture? What? We don't even have access to that law! Gaelic? No 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 that's gotta change ASAP. Hundred percent change it back. All the scudages got cancelled? Huh. 
Wow, we got primogeniture. We're not gonna be Gaelic. Alright, hold up. Damn, we have all kinds of problems, huh? We're a drunkard, we're reclusive, we're insane. Got a lot going on here. Uh, okay. Byzantium is the capital. Good. This is where you reside. Yes. This is still the capital. Good. County is not of your culture. Yeah, we're fixing that. Recruits want to teach... You don't speak Greek? How do you not speak Greek? Wow, we've got a lot of work ahead of us. Boy, oh boy, we've got a lot of work ahead of us. we got to switch to the correct culture. We can't do that because we're at war. we got to take care of some things next time. Oh my god. She's, he's in great health, though. Damn. Okay. We'll take care of all that next time, I guess. Because, uh... It doesn't seem right to keep playing, does it? When we just lost Megara. Mm. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. And if you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so much for joining me on this journey in the Crusader Kings 3 with the Argiad Dynasty. Next time, we take over as High Priest Petros. McNana of the Hellenic High Priesthood. I'm going to go ahead and get him set up in all of our traditional garb. And, yeah. Thank you again so much. And I'll see all of you next time.